Hi everyone and welcome back to another Borkano game video. Today's video is DK2, why I was wrong about the overkill mechanic and some details on lessons learned for the overall clan battle beta for March, all right? Let's go ahead and jump into the notices and talk about the rewards really quick. This is a notice pretty much telling you that they are calculating the final rankings and distributing the rewards after they conduct an investigation for fraudulent activity. So any hackers and all that stuff, they're going to be removed. So some of y'all might be able to increase in ranking I know this is like a growing effort just to tackle the issue. I'm sure it'll get better over time. All right, let's go ahead and jump into the clan battle and talk to you on why I was actually really wrong about this overkill mechanic. All right, so you can see here, March 11th, I dealt 477,000 damage to the spirit horn. All right, the deer dude. But if you actually go into the clear info log, it's actually different what's going to be shown. So if I go to the spirit horn and scroll to the bottom, you can see here, I did not deal. 447,000 K plus damage, whatever it was, I dealt 248,000 damage. Some of you are wondering, Bork, what's going on? This isn't what you explained for the overkill mechanic. So if I actually go into the help section and I learned how to read properly, it actually tells you that the boss's remaining HP is what's going to be calculated. So if you earn carry over time in an overkill battle, it will be calculated based on the total damage you dealt and the monster's updated remaining HP. So what does this mean? It means that you cannot deal an extra 20 million damage or whatever damage that someone thinks that they can deal. It just means that you will deal the remaining boss's HP. Overkill mechanic will actually hurt you if you try to implement it in this way where you're trying to get an extra 20 million damage off of the boss because it's only based off of the remaining HP, all right? This is why I sort of want to unlist the video or like make it private in some ways, but I want to keep the video out there so people know that the overkill mechanic exists, right? The purpose of leaving the video is just to let people know that overkill remains. Now, what is the actual way to do an overkill? overkill. The purpose of an overkill is to set up your next team to properly deal damage. What do I mean by that? So if we actually go into my personal logs, I did overkill absolutely wrong, all right? So you can see here, this is the team that I set up for myself to do Spirit Horn, but it actually wasn't efficient enough to do the Minotaur run, right? So this run right here was actually in some ways really terrible, or this overkill that I did was really terrible because what happened was I set my myself up for failure for the next boss. The purpose of the overkill mechanic is to prevent someone from last hitting the boss, getting improper amounts of time, and also using a better team for the following boss, all right? So if you do overkill properly, I should run a team such as the Miyako team on the Spirit Horn. That way, I have 90 seconds on the Minotaur team to deal 280,000 damage, all right? That's the actual purpose of overkill, is so you can deal proper damage to the next boss. And that's why I was so wrong on that video, and it's not actually a way to get extra damage on your overall score. And this is why overkill is actually not a bug, but an implementation to prevent folks from actually having issues when going into the next boss and people are jumping into the boss at the same time. Also, feel free to check out Tomias's video where he clarifies on the information a little bit better. Overall, if you're trying to take advantage of the overkill system, it's actually already working properly and it's actually based off of the current boss's remaining HP. So if someone does like 688,000 damage and the boss only has 690,000 damage, then they will only deal like you know like 20 damage or something like that and then they will have to use the next team in order to tackle the boss and if that next team isn't properly set up to do the minotaur damage then it's going to fail and blow up in their face so the whole purpose of this is i just want to say I did not know what I was doing for the overkill mechanic. I shouldn't have made a guide for it and I should have probably asked more people on it. But the more that I delayed it, the more people would have thought that I wasn't, I was holding back information. The purpose of me, I should have titled the video better with the overkill mechanic, right? I should have been like, how does this work? Because I really did not know how this overkill mechanic worked. And I wanted to make a video and get some conversation on it. That way we could better understand it as a community and i know some people will be like bork you were holding it i really wasn't 
content i was trying to better understand it and i understand the reception that i got on the video the way it looked no matter what i did it would have just turned out really weird but this is just one of those things that i wanted to get off my chest thank you to tamias for explaining it to me thank you to mhor for explaining it to me mhor is the one who showed me like hey this is how it actually works. This is the actual damage that I dealt to the boss versus my personal damage, which is actually a straight up lie. So thank you to Mhor, thank you to Zero UA, thank you to Tim, thank you to everyone in the community, and I am more than happy to fess up my mistakes when I make them, all right? So when it comes to other clan battle things, lessons learned, I think one of the most important things is having clear communication, most of all, because if you're trying to do this overkill mechanic and you know someone accidentally kills the boss, which we did have happen, then it just sort of happens. In some ways, I think like the overkill boss thing is just not really worth it for clans who want to remain more casual. It's honestly for players who just want to take advantage of extra timings and deal a little bit more like damage it's just like a little bit more efficiency it's not really that real amount of efficiency if you know what i mean like it's nothing too crazy but anything i want to say communication is key when it comes to clan battle and the most important part there is actually a feature where you can share teams and people can be like oh that's a good team to run the boss and you can actually copy that team and it's like a mechanic within here that you can like share like all these different teams here it is so this is something that you can actually do to share your teams and that's just the tip that i wanted to share for lessons learned within clan battle make sure to use this feature where you can share your teams and other people can pretty much utilize it and i can actually go here into copy and just put it on one of my teams all right so let's go ahead and jump into pvp and just talk about the overkill mechanic in the end i feel like it is definitely balanced i feel like it's something that we should definitely use as a mechanic to help each other out and hopefully with me creating this video we can put more awareness on it on why it is a very difficult thing to even pull off i feel like a lot of casual guilds can't pull this off and the way that psy games actually implemented it is really good because it makes you feel like you did something right when in actuality you didn't do anything you are just sort of making yourself feel like you're doing more damage it's a really weird mechanic and it's more of a visual bug than anything i hope they fix the visual bug but i don't think they fixed it yet in jp hopefully once they fix it it can actually show like for example on that spirit horn example i dealt earlier that it will deal like 248,000 instead of that visual bug that said i dealt like you know 700k or 400k damage and you can see here this is a team that i got introduced by zero ua in order to tackle tamaki stall let's see how well it like holds up against this this was a very high star team so i'm not sure if i can take it down but it's kind of cool that my team can actually last this long against this high star team of course clicking doesn't really do anything oh we might be able to get it it's looking really close we're down to the 18 second mark where are we going to be 10 seconds left? Can we take down this Maho? Oh my goodness. Yes, we are able to take it down. So thank you to Zero UA for showing me this team in particular. Great team. Of course, it's not fully free to play friendly because you have to have Makoto, but most of these units are pretty acquirable. You can get Akari absolutely for free within the dungeon coins, I believe, and then Kauri from the Princess Arena if you want to do that. Not to mention Kauri is absolute waifu. And same with pretty much Miyako. You can get her from the Princess Arena. So if you go into shop right here and you go into dungeon coins, here is Akari. And then in Princess Arena, you can get Kauri and Miyako. All right, Makoto, you're going to have to pull for and Kokoro is absolutely for free. But anyways, if you enjoyed today's video regarding like how overkill actually works on why it's actually a balanced thing and why I pretty much should have explained it better. I wish I got it right on the first time, but I didn't. And I just want to say thank you for having the patience to watch this video through and through and listening to everything. And I hope you have a fantastic day. Anyways, if you made it this far, consider subscribing, dropping a like, leaving a comment, follow me on Twitch, follow me on Twitter. We might be streaming today. I'm not sure yet. Once we hit 17,500 subs, we'll be doing a giveaway. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.